Rum Job Island, beautiful oasis of rum and jobs. What is up, the world? What up, peeps? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back with some Anno 1800. Oh my God! Welcome back. Look at our people, man. The Jolineros, the Jolineroin. Look, man, the alpacas are out packing. Look at this guy, man. He's selling stuff and things. Dude, vegan burrito? Hello? Please? Can I have some? So we're back. Thank you guys for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like what you see today, smash the thumbs up button. And make sure you come check out our streams, by the way, as well. We're doing another playthrough and on Twitch.tv slash Slipgator. And I actually think that I'm doing better on this playthrough than I am doing on that one. <laughs> I have more money on the other playthrough. I have 10 million. But on the other playthrough, let me see here. On our diplomacy, do we have a Meryl? Yeah, the Meryl, our Barrel Omera. We just took her out on the Twitch playthrough. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff and things going on. I think I have on that playthrough now, like, 14 islands. And none of them have any people on them. So we're going to be building it all up. But anyway, yeah, running a little bit late today for my recording on a personal note. If you haven't checked it out already, on Twitter and Instagram, I posted pictures of the new uh, Reborn Dimensions 18th generation gen 2 pc that i had built from those guys the original pc of the pc that i'm playing on now is from reborn dimensions uh and we had a new one built and uh it's unbelievable guys it's pretty crazy if you haven't seen it yet make sure you go over to either one either oh dude, we're running low on stuff and things oh yeah it's because we just built this guy wrong island Ugh, this guy's the guy's got all the things but yeah check it out on twitter and instagram uh i've been playing with it all morning and then i got sucked into somebody else's stream and I was hanging out with them, and I was like, dude, I got to make a video today. At least one. I was supposed to make a couple. I don't think I'm going to have time. But we're here, so we're going to be hanging out. It's going to be great. It's going to be a little bit low-key deal. We're just going to see what's going on with our buildings and our stuff and things. Um, all of our islands. It looks like we've got, what, that's right, up here in the old world. I always feel like, for some reason, the old world is north because the new world is down here. So I guess the new world is south. Um, but, yeah, stuff and things are going okay. We got all of our guys. We got happiness. Slipped in Vilberg. Closed Schnapps Island is happy. I think we're going to have to add some more farmers over here at some point. Canned Food Island is doing good. Do we have canned food to speak of? <gasps> Huge amounts of canned food. Seven things. Are you actually bringing it up here now, too? We have a good amount of canned food up here. Nice. Dude, Canned Food Island is a success. Um, and we have a lot of new settlements over here. But I think the thing that we were working on last time, if we take a look up over here, was fur coat stuff and things. So let's see here. We have 122, actually. That's doing pretty good, to be honest with you. These guys all have fur coats. That's great, man. That's so good. All right, look at our trade routes. We're bringing cotton, cotton, and fur up. These guys are all going... Are you going to show me where they're going? Oh, the cotton's going up to Slipton, Bergvilton. That's going up there, and then this guy's coming right from uh, Fur Island or whatever that actually is. Clothing Island down over here. So it looks like the fur stuff and things are going good as well. Uh, bricks not so great and i'm guessing that's because we're all full up right there and then this guy as well looks like we're having some brick issues let's double check something real fast pop up over here eh, 250 i'm not exactly sure why those are having a problem but you know what i'm not going to worry too much about it um our next steps uh building ships we're going to need a lot of these guys let's go ahead and pop over here ship of the line ship of the line that's all we can build because we have no more influence investment. Interesting. Okay. That's how you're going to be. Uh, and then down over here, what do we got going on? Beer Island. Oh, yeah. Let's check that out as well. Just double check. Beer Island's got all to beer. What kind of beer stuff and things you got going on up here, homie? We got some beer going over there. Under our happiness right here, you can see beer. Your city has grown uglier. Oh, shut your shit. Shut up, man. Shut up. That always tells me that the place has got uglier when really... It's perfectly fine. These guys are going to need some hot beer action as well. Why don't we set up another deal here? Let's pop over to this guy. We got a uh, little guy right there. Brenda the schooner is unassigned. Okay, so we want to bring beer down here from Beer Island. We want to bring a little bit of uh, that up over here. That's just going to help us with our money situation a little bit more. So let's go ahead and set up a trade route. Create a route. We want Beer Island. Uh, yeah, tr trade route. Yeah, Beer Island. Pick up some beer, will you? Let's go ahead and have you pick up beer, 50 beer, and then drop that 50 beer up here at Closed Island. Unload. 
then we're gonna need to put Brenda in there. Are we at the top? Does anybody see Brenda? Rachel, Lone Star, Beer, Celestial, Alphabetical Order. Anybody? Brenda. All right, accept. Bam! Beer's problem solved. Perfect. Okay, so next big order of business, what do we got to have? Rum, okay? We need some hot rum action. Here's what it looks like inside of the deal. There's our rum. And then if we take a look down over here, these guys, the artisans, wait, I think, do workers require rum? Workers don't need rum. Artisans need it. So this is going to help us, again, generate more cashola. Um, so rum stuff and things. Let's take a look. Uh, consumables and then in our rum. We're going to need lumberjack huts for wood. No big whoop. We can make that happen. We're going to need sugarcane plantations. These are only new world. And that's where the rum stuff and things are going to happen. So let's pop on down Yoink to the new world. Now we have this guy set up right now. Cotton Island. That's what we're really doing. Oh, and we have this huge fleet down here too. I think we'll leave that guy down here. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I think I can shift click. Did that select everybody? It's really hard to see the selection lines. We still have the guys over here at Pirate Island. Okay, we still have those guys right there. Let us take these guys and bring them back over to the old world. We don't really need them down here. They're not really a concern. All right, so Cotton Island is down here. We're making the cotton stuff and things. Here's some of our cotton plantations. I think we're going to need to up this eventually. But over here, I think is what we're going to do. Rum Job Island. Rum Job Island. All right, so over here is where we're going to need to get the rum stuff and things going. Now, consumables, and we pop into <gasps> rum right there. This is... The, uh, there's the uh, Jornalero workforce. There's the Obrero workforce. Jornalero, Jornalero, Jornalero. It's all the low tier guys that we're going to need. So, city, let's expand, man. 390 is not going to be enough people. Oh, these guys are going to need basic infrastructure as well, which we do not have. Grab this, grab that. All right, a little bit more people just got made up. Feels good, team, but check it out, man. Uh, well, they want a church. Hold on, church. Little teeny itty bitty church. Let me put a road deal in right here. Uh, city deal. And then there's the church. These churches are so tiny. We'll put this guy right here, I guess. Maybe have some room over here for some other stuff and things as well. Uh, I did put in a boxing arena over here. We have the church. Uh, fire department is probably going to be a good idea at some point. Maybe a police department could fit right over there by the church. Looks great. Uh, all right. So all those guys are G's. Um, we built this area here for bricks, but it was, does require the Obrero workforce. So, all right, we're going to have to upgrade uh, the abilities, the stuff and things, and the workforces on this island to start off today. The beautiful farmlands of Rum Job Island have been created. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All the stuff and things needed to provide the basic resources for the Jolinero tribesmen of Rum Job Island have been created. That's right. Fried plantain stuff and things are ready to rock and roll. We have poncho production up and running as well. Uh, let's just resume the game. So look there. These guys are doing great, man. And check out these guys, man. Alpaca stuff and things. Look at them. Hey, nice butt. Dude, what's this guy doing with this little alpaca deal? Is he shoveling the alpaca's uh, excrements? Maybe alpaca excrements? Look how cute they are. Look at their little cute little alpaca faces. <gasps> look at that guy. Wait, stop driving through me, dude. I'm trying to hang out with the alpacas. Look how cute he is. Hey, buddy. What's up, little alpaca buddy, buddy guy? Uh, banana stuff and things are happening over here. It looks good. Dude, our little island here is looking so great. Dude, wow, look up there, man. That is beautiful. You know what I want to do? I want to take my Jeep here, man. I want to Jeep through the streets of Rum Job Island. Nothing's more satisfying. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say upgrades are ready to rock and roll. Ooh, these guys, the richest of the rich in the center of town. There's 129. Grab some of those guys. Resources still doing okay. Look at that, man. 128, 280 something something. Let's grab these guys. Let's upgrade these guys. All right, nice. So we're down about 42 wood. I did expand our wood uh, factory, our wood production over here. A couple new lumberjack huts, a couple new sawmills are over in this area right there. Um, Here's where we set all this up. And I'm using my old tried and true fill all the stuff and things in method as opposed to, as opposed to doing everything perfectly symmetrical. I mean, we have some symmetricality. You can see there are some symmetrical stuff and things, but uh, not everything is going to be. I actually do want that to be like so. And then now I do believe I can start singing. we'll turn all of those guys on. So bricks are going to be a thing. And we have another area right over here. Materials, squirt down a brick deal right there. 
Uh, like that. And then, of course not. That would just be too easy. Maybe we stick this guy over here like so. And we go into our city. Little small warehouse. Eh, like that. Perfect. It'll be great. We can actually even add a little bit of brick road action right there. Just so they can move in betwixt the buildings more quickly. Looks like this guy's good to go over here as well. All right, so what are we going to need in order to get into rum action? It is Jolinero, 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 right? So, Jornalero. Sorry, Jornalero. Uh, so, we're going to have to get a couple more Lumberjacks at 15 seconds. So, we'll need two sugar plantations to every one Lumberjack hut. And, uh, yeah, that will go into uh, one sugar plantation for every one rum distillery as well. Let's pop out here and just take a look. Dude, this is like going to be Brick Island, I think, too. We got bricks here, bricks here, oil here, oil here. Um, and then are there any? Is there mining? Oil. Oh, those are oil springs. I don't think I saw any mining opportunities on this island. Some of these New World Islands have gold on them. Look, another brick deal up over here. Dude, we're going to be able to produce all the brick stuff and things. Um, all right. So oil kind of maybe we can... Hmm. I kind of want to save this area for more wood production if we need it. We're going to do bricks and bricks. We could bring it over to here. There's a nice big beach there, though, for beach production. We could bring it all the way back into the corner there. That is a long road, though. What if we were to bring this up like all the way to here, all the way out here? Dude, that's a hell of a road, but this looks like a pretty cool spot to set up some stuff and things. The people riding, a fire broke out all of a sudden. Dude, can I have that fire broke out deal over here? Let's make sure we're mobilizing these guys. Dude, off the doff pop, the doff pops. Not again, man. Still with that? Uh, I don't want to destroy this guy yet, but that's what I'm going to try next. I'm going to try destroying this guy, Those if you remember. We had this issue uh, in a previous game. I thought maybe reloading the game would solve it, but it looks like that it didn't. Okay, it looks like the fire situation's under control. Everything's doing good world all right back over here how are you guys doing everybody good any rioting <laughs> any thoughts of rioting going on uh so the city expansion has begun and over here the rum uh stuff and things so check it out another brick factory over here i did upgrade some more guys so our brero workforce is doing good i added some more buildings so jornalero workforce uh is doing well and then what did we say that we needed in order to get these guys going so it is 15 seconds for these and then 30. So we only need two sugarcane plantations. Um, now, the way that I've got this set up, hmm, maybe we could fit one here and one there. Slow down stuff and things a little bit. <gasps> no! Why, Cruel World? Oh, dudes. I can't believe it, dudes. I didn't even notice. No sugarcane stuff and things over here. Well, we have the infrastructure for something quite amazing. Let's pause all of these guys. It ain't no big deal that we did some of this building. And it ain't no big deal that we did some of the expanding. Because we're going to need to do that. But, crap on a cracker. Over here is where we're going to have to do this. So, it looks like we have plenty of workforce. We just need the space. This is where our cotton production is. There's some more oil over here. A nice big beach. Another brick facility could go in over there. This looks like a pretty decent spot right here to Baha. So, let me go ahead and grab that. Maybe we take this up here like... So, this guy over here to the edge of the beach. All right. So, again, over here, we're going to have to do the same thing. Um, under our materials, like this, I want to put up at least four of these guys. Oh, dude, they take so much space, man. It's crazy. I mean, we don't have to have them at 100%, but you know what I mean? We kind of want to, right? Let's maybe try to put this guy right there. Another guy over here. We're going to need four. Maybe up here by the oil. We'll call it a day. Now, they're kind of spaced out a little bit weird. Let's take a look and see here. Like that probably is our best bet. Then this guy will bring a road right down over here. Question's going to be, can we do it with a single warehouse? I'm going to say the answer is probably going to be no. Okay. Oh, he's done it. Uh, so we'll want to upgrade these roads. And thankfully, this island has a bit better infrastructure. So that should be nice and easy. All right, so there's four of those guys. Now we're going to have to have two plantations. How do these guys work? 128. All right. Rum Job Island. 
beautiful oasis of rum and jobs. The local indigenous population work in the fields of sugarcane to create a product unlike any other. Rum job rum. Here, that, that's a brick factory, actually. Okay, maybe this isn't working out so well. Hey, we're back. You guys, stuff and things are happening. So I think I did the math wrong on this. If these guys are producing wood every 15 seconds, we need double the sugarcane plantation to keep up with it. So we do have seven of these on the island, but three of them are being used for making planks. Four of them are going to be used for the sugarcane, of which we now have eight plantations. Kind of evenly placed in and about the area. Again, I'm trying to utilize some land that doesn't normally get utilized just to squeeze some stuff and things in. So I put another guy over here. These guys are pretty much even up. Some warehouses in the area. But that means the next order of business is going to be eight. Count them, eight rum distilleries. So I want to take a look here. Let's get you an upgrade. Where's going to be a good spot for eight rum distilleries? Let's go ahead and kind of zoom out right here. Do you think we could fit eight right there? We're going to need to have access to a warehouse kind of close by. All this land will probably be used for housing uh, over here as well. I think we'll actually probably end up removing this and using that for housing too eventually. Just try to get a bird's eye view. Trying to find my inspirations. I'd love to put it down over here and then make sure we have um, enough space there. I put a road over here to denote the edge Storeroom's full, boss. of this Lumberjacks hut deal. Um, and it looks like, are we actually full? Full on wood resource, which is fine. That's no problem. Let's go ahead and just see what this looks like. Uh, let's go into blooper mode. Yeah. That's two, three, four, five. And then what if we came up here like this? Hmm. What if we put down a small warehouse here? And then did two more of these guys? Two more rum distilleries? Ugh. All right. Um, it'd be great if it... It's kind of nice that it plays, so it places them randomized, to be honest with you. All right. Down over here like this. Maybe this guy over here like this. Does that look pretty decent? I mean, I feel like it's going to be a good use of space. I'm down, man. I'm down a clown. Oh, but what workforce do these use? Okay. It looks like it uses the first tier workforce. So plenty of workers to make all this happen. And that guy right there. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Hey, thank you, princess. And there it is, peeps. Our rum stuff and things. Looks good, man. Looks like rum is happening over here. Look at all the guys working in the fields. I love the detail in this game. It's so amazing. It's just such a pleasant place to be. Anno 1800. And the music, so GD good. So uh, at this point... We should be producing rum. Well, looks like it's taking a second for rum stores to get over here. These guys are going to that warehouse. That guy's going to that warehouse. I really don't mind if they kind of split up which warehouse they're going to. I'm super confused why they're not going here. Um, but maybe it'll take them a second to redirect. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm down. Wait, what? I didn't even know. Oh, no. Sent out. He sent out maybe some bad information. All right, so now what we're going to do maybe is fast forward this a little bit and see how it affects our production. See how much rum we can squeeze out of these bad hombres. Where's the rum gone? On Cotton Rum Isla. That's right. Cotton Rum Isla. Producing all sorts of cotton and all sorts of rum. 142 greatly increasing by 8 now. Now, these guys do have the um, Obrero Workforce does want rum under happiness. So these guys had to drink a little bit of it. They need to drink a little bit of it. But now we've got to go ahead and set up a trade route. And it looks like we have a lot. Now, hmm, how are we going to do this? Let us have a little bit of a think. Let's go to the old world. Let's pop over to our main island here. And let's see. There's our huge fleet looking friggin' sexy aff. Um, dude, I have idle ships, do I not? Uh, idle ships? Really? Are you guys all idle? Uh, that's an idle gunboat. I need an idle... What do I got? Ship of the line. There's a gunboat, a gunboat, a frigate. I need a clipper. Ships of the line. Do we not have an idle clipper? Those are all ships of the line. There it is. The fartitude. Dude, where are you at, homie? Dude, are you? Look at him. He's hiding inside of there. What the hell are you thinking, man? 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and just drop his wood off the edge, I think, if I'm able to. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to have to set this guy up on a trade route. So we'll go to our routes. Let's go ahead and create a route, a trade route. Let us go to the new world. Let us go to, oh yeah, no job island. <laughs> and now we have Rum Deal Island. So we're going to go ahead here and click to load. I want to bring 50, 50 and 50 rum. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and start dropping these guys off. We're going to go back to the old world. Um, Beer Island, Canned Food Island, Slipton Vilberg, and Schnapps Island. So 25. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let's go ahead and start right here at Beer Island. I want you to unload. Uh, not, not all though. Uh, 25. Okay. Next order of business, head here. Unload 25. So that's 50 total. Then I want you to go to... So how many we got? We have 150. Ah, I got this. So check this out, man. Come over here, unload 50, and then also... I need you to unload more than 50. Can I... It won't do more than 50. Hmm. So I do want you to go here as well, and I want you to unload 25 there too. And then maybe come back over here to unload, but this needs to be 25. So you see what we're doing? 25, 25, 75, 25. It's going to be a heck of a route. It's going to take a while for all that stuff and things to happen, I think. Oh, 25 wood? What are you talking about there, buddy? No, more rum. Oh, wait. 25 and 25. I see. We can actually do it over here, I think. Close Schnapps Island. Not that. 50, 50, 50. Dude, this is a little bit confusing. How do we set it up? So 25 there and then 25 there. We have to change this number. I see. Got you, man. Like so. All right. So 25 goes to Beer Island. 25 goes to Slipton, Vilberg, Tin Town. Uh, then we got 25 there. And then over here, actually, we can go to Close Schnapps Island and set that for 25. I think that's how it should go. And I don't think we're going to make... I don't know if we'll make enough. So we have to let this kind of run its course a little bit to see if the 150 is too much or too little. But here you can see, there we go. Beer Island, Slipton Vilberg, uh, Canned Food Island, and Closed Schnapps Island. And then Slipton Vilberg gets the other 50 of that right there. Should work out perfectly. Except, except, wait, we're not ready. Where's the oldie fartitude? Keep your eyes peeled. There it is. All right, the old fartitude. There, that should be it. There he goes. Off on his little adventure. Doing stuff and things. Let's see how it works out. I'm going to let this run for a minute and see how this ends up working out for us. Ah, the fartitude makes port. At Slipton Vilberg, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just take a look and see here. Where's our rum at? 125 rum got put in. And what I'm really interested to see, let's go ahead and fast forward, is how quickly this all gets used. And then also, we're going to go back to the new world and see how much rum production uh, is going on and how that's all working out as well. So you are still on your way, I do believe, up to, uh, what is that again? Close Schnapps Island. The Arts Festival. Stuff and things are happening. Where are you, the main town deal? The epidemic spreads across your city. Oh, no. Dude, stuff and things are happening everywhere. All right, we got a hospital up over here, do we not? Four, five, six seconds. Mobilize. All right, those guys are going to go do their thing. Let's go back up and take a look here. Wait, we're in the wrong. No, we can look here. How is the rum production working for us? It's working really good. Like, I'm surprised. We have so many places that need it. Did you Did you guys get rum yet? Oh, wait. They don't, they don't want rum? They don't like rum? These guys right here. You got your rum. Nice. They're all rummed up. And let me tell you, we're making, I think, a ton of it. Let's go back to the new world. That's no job island. Yeah, they're all going to die of the plague. Uh, popping over here. How much rum you got over here, homie? Holy crap. Your people are healthier. Yay, they're healthy. Dude, you guys, so much rum on this island now. Your people are starting to get sick. Dude, everybody's sick. It's a terrible disaster. Perfect photo of a clipper, just barely. Give me all your stuff and things. 
Así se hace. Dude, we got a parrot! For the zoo, attracting this 40 epic quality? Amazing. We can't mobilize. I think that the... Yeah, there's already a guy over there. You're gonna be fine, dude. There's no reason to have a huge disaster problem. It ain't no big thing. And then back over here. Where is our zoo at? Empty compound. No, wait, that's... Wait, what? Oh, crap. We gotta bring it, don't we? Hold on. People are healthy again. Let's go back to the new world here. Do we have any... Just say the word. You're just a straight up clipper just hanging out living your life, huh? Items? Wait, what? Currently storing no items. Dude, we got a zoo deal. Where is it? Trade union items, harbor master items, town hall items, cultural items. Did it go to like a specific one of these? That might be it. Oh my god. We never sink a ship if we can take it. All right, let's get our clipper. Dude, we have so many items over here. Let's have him come over this way. Are starting to get sick. Dude, again? We just... Oh. I... You kidding me, man? Uh, mobilize! I don't know if they're going to be able to reach. Some of them might die. We might have to demo some of these people. <laughs> now, I didn't even notice that we had all this stuff over here on uh, Cotton and Rum Isla. Trade Union Epic Item. Sophisticated Slurry Lagoon. Maintenance minus 10, negative attractiveness minus 75. That would be really useful probably near um, factories. This guy is a zoo item. Military ship gyroscopic, pardon me, torpedo. Are you our boy? Hi. Yeah, you are. So we can put that in a military ship. Rare trade union item. Uh, that's a repair. That goes to the zoo. It looks like it's just an uncommon. That's a zoo item. That's a common museum item. And this is a trade union item. Productivity 100% plus a 50% chance for explosions. No, we're not doing that. Let's put all these items for the zoo and these sorts of things over here. Good and, ready. and then we'll have this guy travel uh, to the old world. Confirm. All right, nice. Back to the old world. And let's just pop in and take a look again at how the rum stuff and things are going. Down to 82. Hmm. Uh, so we can absolutely take more on our route. Why don't we go into our trade route here? This is our guy. Oh, we're taking we're dropping up 125 there though. It might just take a couple minutes for it to kind of like get warmed up. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these other islands just to check and see. How you doing on ROM, homie? 25 because I don't think they're going to use any. It's only the artisan workforce that does. Um, the worker workforce actually doesn't need it. We actually have schnapps problems over here and clothing issues. Dude, what? We might have to make some adjustments. What's going on up here at schnapps clothes island? Clothes are doing pretty good. Schnapps are doing pretty good. But yeah, six or a half dozen. At the end of the day, you guys, rum Cotton Island is unbelievable and amazing. Look how beauteous it is. It's so beauteous and great. Let's do a little F2 action. I love it! So thank you guys so much for coming. Can we F1 then? F2? That would be the best. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me, man. It's great to solve problems in the world of Anno 1800 and have a great time doing it with my peeps. Thanks for being here. Make sure if you had fun, please don't forget to show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you had a good time, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I really wish we could go out into the fields and hang out with the peeps. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this and special shout out to everybody who supports that patreon Thank you guys very much. Come check it out, us out on twitch. We're there Monday through Friday 5 to 9 Eastern Dude, it looks like such a peaceful job. Oh my god. I love it All right, that's enough. May the stuff and things be with you